Ronnie James' secret life will shock you. Ronnie James to the basket. Ronnie with a basket bomb. Ronnie James, the oldest son of LeBron James, has big shoes to fill on and off the court. He, like his father, is a gifted athlete, and many believe he'll significantly affect the game of basketball. A lot's been said regarding his basketball abilities, but when did the hype begin? What else is Bronny interested in besides basketball, and what does his well-known father think about the negative press surrounding his oldest child? Join us today in this video as we discuss some secret life facts about Bronny James that will undoubtedly surprise you, starting with how he smoked on IG. Unfavorable attention. So, here are a few advantages of having LeBron James as a father. First and foremost, Bronny James and his siblings have a live-in coach who's been labeled the greatest to ever touch a basketball. Two, as they get closer to their jobs, the kids may make use of whatever contacts their father has. On the negative side, many people may dislike LeBron James' children for being affluent and famous. That could be why there was such a stir when Bronny was allegedly spotted smoking something in a video. Some publications speculated that it was marijuana, but we all know it was definitely marijuana. Furthermore, LeBron believed that someone threw an orange peel at Bronny during a game at the Spalding Hoop Hall Classic in Springfield, Massachusetts in 2020. Hating has no age limit, LeBron declared. Hashtag's James Gang is built for it and well-equipped as we proceed. He also posted a message to Bronny about the orange peel incident. No, I got your back and front throughout it all. I'd die for you and your siblings, LeBron James wrote. Never waver no matter what disrespect, hate, envy, jealousy, etc. comes your way. Only push forward and continue to be the great kid slash young man slash person you are. Love you, kid. Hashtag James Gang. Later, a little boy apologized for tossing the orange peel and said that he did it to attract Bronny's attention since he adored him so much. What sort of admiration is that, kid? No cell phones allowed. LeBron James' rookie contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2003 was more than $4 million, and his earnings have only increased since then. Given his family's money, one might suppose Bronny James has always enjoyed access to every gizmo and gadget imaginable, but this is not the case. In 2016, LeBron informed Sports Illustrated that he had forbidden his then 11-year-old son from possessing a cell phone. The future Hall of Famer would not elaborate on his choice but stated that he wanted Bronny to remain innocent for as long as possible. He's lucky he gets to grow up slower than I did, said the four-time NBA champion. So is this strict parenting or good parenting from LeBron? There was already a lot of hype about Bronny at the time, so logically, LeBron wanted to put up a barrier between him and coaches from AAU, high school, and college who may have approached him about playing for their future team. That's different from saying Bronny never had a cell phone of his own, According to Sports Illustrated's reports from the 2022 Nike Elite Youth Basketball League Peach Jam, LeBron's oldest kid was seen checking his phone while sitting in the stands. Proud Daddy There are two categories of parents that attend their children's athletic activities. On one side of the coin, there's the parent who sits in the stands stone-faced and doesn't shout, applaud, or clap. Maybe they're taking mental notes on their child's play to give some recommendations later on. And then there's the parent who can't stop smiling and becomes the greatest cheerleader during the game, then on social media. LeBron James appears to fall toward the latter category. LeBron James posted a photo of Bronny James poised to dunk on an opponent in 2019. However, even though LeBron brags about his son's abilities, he maintains some modesty about his abilities. It's starting to get scary, people. We ain't there, but one thing about it, we working to get there and beyond. Hashtag Young King, hashtag Bronny. According to Fadeaway World, he tweeted a similar thing in 2022, after Bronny had a huge game in the Nike Elite Youth Basketball League, piling up 28 points, including five three-pointers. And once again, LeBron praised his son's performance without seeming to brag. We just working, stay low and stay locked in, King James tweeted. Family is family, after all. Pressure. What's it like for Bronny James to have a father who's achieved so much in basketball and playing himself? Is the young star under any kind of pressure? Did he grow up with a desire to replicate his father's abilities? Former late-night comedian Jon Stewart posed the question to LeBron on the debut episode of the NBA player's HBO show, The Shop. I still regret giving my 14-year-old my name because of that potential pressure. 
LeBron told him. When I was younger, I didn't have a dad. So my whole thing was like, whenever I have a kid, not only is he going to be a junior, I'm going to do everything that this man didn't do. LeBron discussed his father Anthony McClellan's absence from his life and how his mother Gloria James had him when she was 16 years old. It was also something he mentioned in a 2014 Instagram post while sending a message to his father. Because of you, Pops, thanks all along. Could have said, why me with you not being there, but look what I made of myself, stated LeBron. Twitch star and TikTok. Bronny James isn't only a basketball star, he's also a TikTok and Twitch sensation with 5.6 million and 603,000 followers on both platforms respectively. Bronny may be seen doing basketball stuff on his TikTok page, which should come as no surprise, such as playing on a toy hoop with his brother Bryce James. However, many of Bronny's videos show him doing typical teenage activities, like hanging out with his friends, dancing, and spending time with his family. And he's a passionate gamer on Twitch, where he plays games like Warzone, NBA 2K, and Fortnite. That seems pretty cool. Bronny joined the elite esports squad FaZe Clan in 2020, according to Sports Illustrated. The following year, he and his colleagues were on the cover of Sports Illustrated. According to the Washington Post, the teenage basketball sensation will not be compensated for his time on the team because he wants to improve his social media profile. Bronny reportedly gained 77,000 Instagram followers after joining the squad, indicating that his strategy was successful. It's important to point out Bronny isn't signed to FaZe Clan, the team's communications director Chelsea Northern explained in an email to the Washington Post. He does not have a contract with FaZe Clan. It's an organic relationship between the talent within FaZe and Bronny. So it doesn't appear that Bronny will be swapping in his basketball for a joystick anytime soon. Headlines When Bronny James decided to enroll at Santa Monica's Crossroads School for Arts and Sciences to play basketball in the eighth grade, it made headlines since he was already on coaches and basketball experts' radars as a preteen. Crossroads is a private, elite, and extremely expensive institution. Tuition in 2021 was $45,761, according to Los Angeles Magazine. Furthermore, the school's alumni list is littered with celebrities. As TMZ reported in 2018, Shaquille O'Neal's son Sharif O'Neal, a basketball phenom, as well as former NBA player Baron Davis, went there. In their teens, celebrities such as Kate Hudson, Maya Rudolph, and Gwyneth Paltrow roamed the hallways of Crossroads. Because Crossroads is a K-12 school, it was natural to think that Bronny would play varsity basketball after he finished 8th grade. But that was not the case. Instead, he and his younger brother Bryce James were said to be attending Sierra Canyon School in Chatsworth, California. According to the Los Angeles Times, LeBron and Savannah James believe Sierra Canyon was the best fit for their kids' basketball careers. Bronny also joined Zaire Wade's team. Former teammates Dwayne Wade and LeBron James were naturally excited to see their boys play together. Ohio State University Bronny James has mostly stood back and let others speculate about where he'll play college basketball. In September 2022, though, he adopted a different tactic, uploading images of himself wearing an Ohio State University jersey. His parents, LeBron James and Savannah James, were also photographed wearing Ohio State t-shirts. Bronny captioned the photos, Buckeye Nation? Hashtag not committed. Bronny and his father were photographed watching an OSU football game a few days before the post, which spurred internet discussion about him maybe playing basketball for the school. But the noise level increased when Bronny published the images. We would welcome you with more than open arms, one person wrote in the comments. IDK if it means anything, but just know the whole city would be at your games, bro, said another. Not just that, when the photographs were publicized, OSU reaffirmed Bronny's scholarship offer. Of course, Ohio State supporters will be watching to see if LeBron's son will be a Buckeye. If he does, the stands will almost certainly be full, as one commentator predicted because LeBron is from Akron, Ohio, and Bronny was born in Cleveland. <laughs>